Well, I wasn't expecting to be making another video so soon after uploading the 1000 V video, but NHRA decided to finally tease us with the trailer for the new game coming out in August, and with the fact that this will be the first NHRA licensed video game since 2007's release of NHRA Countdown to the Championship, I felt it was fair to take a look at the trailer and talk about what we might expect and hope for with the official release ahead of the US Nationals. On first look at the game to the core fan base, you can obviously point out the flaws when it came to the production. Some have pointed out easy details as the car makes being missing from the trailer, or the fact that there were funny cars and top fuel dragsters revving their engines in the staging lanes. But the thing you have to remember with this is that it's the first trailer, and a very early one at that. This trailer is meant to hook the attention of fans both hardcore and casual look at them talking about its release, which it did pretty well. It showed us the bare bones of what this game is meant to be, and for an initial look into the game, I have hopes this game can live up to a countdown that the championship left behind after its release almost 15 years prior. As for the car makes, I leave that all down to licensing issues that are going on between the developers and the manufacturers. But there's zero doubt in my mind that between now and August it will be resolved, especially with Dodge considering they sponsor both the Mile High Nationals as well as the US Nationals. For the gameplay, it's hard to tell what we can expect, as there was no real gameplay footage shown besides the few snippets of first and third person angles. A few people have pointed out that developer Game Mill Entertainment's former release Monster Jam crushed it, which was released back in 2016. And while it's easy to look at the game and assume this one will be as much of a disaster, it's also easy to overlook the fact that they made both the Street Outlaw games, more importantly Street Outlaws 2 Winner Takes All that was released in September of 2021 that has both overall positive reviews, as well as good gameplay features that adds to the authenticity of the game, such as proper burnout and staging, as well as pretty good visuals that line up alongside with what we are seeing with NASCAR 21 Ignition. When Countdown to the Championship released, I personally felt it was a good game. Sure, even for 2007 graphics and overall look of the game left much to be desired compared to its competitor in NASCAR 08, but when you look deeper into the gameplay and feel, I think it's exactly the kind of game you should hope for in Speed For All. To count down to the championship, it made you have to work to have a good run. If you did a long smoky burnout halfway down the track, you would more than likely spin your tires when you hit the gas. It made you try to line up properly within your tire marks to achieve the most grip, and if you stepped out of that line during the run, you would immediately smoke your tires and could only watch as your competitor blew your doors off. It made you qualify for every event made setups a key must when trying to race, and forced you to learn the game and how to be fast on the tree as well as hold it for the entire quarter mile. If Speed For All has the same kind of authenticity factor the Countdown of the Championship did, then I feel we have a good game on our hands. The only thing I'd hope for in Speed For All that was missing in Countdown of the Championship is a more in-depth career mode. Rather than starting your career mode and immediately being able to run top fuel and compete against Tony Schumacher in the finals, I think it'd be better to start out as a brand new team, have to earn your sponsors as you get them through the season, as well as upgrade your car and shop to prove your worth in the top fuel class to get a spot in eliminations for a national event, rather than winning it on your first go at the Winter Nationals. And much like any other racing game, I'm really hoping there's a paint booth option for the game as well. With Countdown to the Championship, the only options you had were the pre-made cards that the game had already built in. When you raced and got a sponsor, you would just take the scheme of the car that already had that sponsor rather than creating your own unique car. In the end, the only thing I'm really hoping for with this game is that it worked on initial release. As long as we don't see with what happened to NASCAR 21 Ignition and don't have 7 hour staging duels or result tabs that break and are stuck until we start it, then I think it will be a success for a first release from a new developer. If it can do that, then at least we know that if they make a sequel, it will get better over time and hopefully we can have a proper NHRA racing game franchise and not have to wait 15 more years for another release. Until then, this has been Mighty Mac, and I'll see you next time.